Hello everyone, this is Francois from PO3D. Welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to do the post treatment of a car rear bumper. Uh, this is the same file that we're using in our sample file. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by loading the uh, file. This is the raw scan uh, right from the moment that we stop scanning in our video. And so the first thing that we're going to do here is going we're going to start by increasing the resolution of the mesh to one millimeter. Uh, so using a finer resolution, we'll show you more details. Um, on the other hand, the coarser resolution will be faster during the scan. Uh, this also means less data to process and smoother overall process during the, uh, the scan. We're then going to move on to the scan post treatment mode uh, by clicking the create mesh button here. Uh, we're going to start by decimating the model. This is going to reduce the amount of triangles uh, composing the surface uh, based on flatter areas. Um, again, this will make the file lighter and easier to work with. Uh, in our case, we're going to reduce the amount of triangles to a million triangles. We are then going to pick the select through option here. And then we're going to right click on our mesh and select show only selected. Uh, this way, if we do any change to our mesh, we won't see the actual scan underneath. Uh, this can be annoying when working on the mesh. Now we're going to do a manual selection of the areas that we wish to remove. Uh, we'll make sure our selection is as close as possible to the actual um, parts edges. And we'll do this until we're left only with our object of interest. In our case, we'll isolate the car bumper. Okay, so you can spin your scan around uh, just to see if we've selected everything. And then you can hit the delete key or press delete on your keyboard. Now here's an interesting tip. Uh, you can use the connect selection mode, select your surface of interest, and then inverse the selection. Um, this will only select the triangles that do not belong to your object of, e of interest and uh, then you can delete these triangles. We're now going to run the clean mesh option. This function will analyze your mesh and automatically fix any issues with it. We'll run a remove spike now. Now this function, this function I really like. It basically, it's basically like a smart smooth. It will get rid of the spikes in your mesh, but it will keep all the details and sharpness of your scan. Uh, you can adjust the intensity of the function. Uh, I like to use a higher value, especially on smooth objects. We'll then use the uh, hole filler to fill any holes left in your scan. Uh, we can use the slider here uh, to select all holes um, as there's none in our original part. Um, and we're so simply going to deselect the largest one. I will now improve some of the boundaries uh, with a partial fill using the same hole filler. Uh, we then move on to the edit boundary function to make our boundaries smoother. Uh, so we'll do it section by section to prevent rounding the corners too much. So we'll use a good curve tension, 80 in our case, and simply repeat this step for all boundaries.
Keep in mind that having the viewer uh, close enough to your part will help when trying to select a boundary in particular. Now we'll fast forward this section a little uh, as we're doing the same thing, same steps on all boundaries. Uh, so it's always good to run the clean mesh once more uh, at the end of this process as we did changes to geometry uh, and changes to the mesh a little. So that's it. That's how it's done. Thanks for watching.